Hi, I'm John with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember that anytime you work on an appliance, make sure that it is unplugged or the circuit breaker is turned off so there is no chance of electrocution. Today we're going to show you how to install a new motor assembly for a Maytag washer. It's an easy job that only requires a short flat blade screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, a 3 8 inch nut driver, a ratchet with extension and 3 8 inch socket, a putty knife, and a pair of pliers. When you open the package, you'll get one new motor assembly. The reason why you'd be replacing the motor assembly is if the washer won't start, if the washer won't agitate, or the pumps won't pump. Start the installation of the new motor by first removing the drive belt. The drive belt is located under the washing machine, so to get access to the belt, we're going to need to tilt the machine back, have a friend hold the machine, or tilt it back and rest it on something secure. The drive belt goes around the pump pulley, motor pulley, and transmission pulley. Remove the drive belt by pulling out on the edge of the belt as you rotate the transmission pulley counterclockwise. Then, remove the old drive belt. Afterwards, tilt down the machine. Use a putty knife to press in and release the two tabs that will allow the whole top to be tilted up. Afterwards, lift up the top and carefully place it against something sturdy. Locate the two screws that retain the front panel of the washer. Then, use a 5 16 inch nut driver to remove the screws. Tilt the panel forward, lift up slightly, and then you can remove the panel from the machine. With the front panel removed, you'll now have access to the motor that's located in the lower right portion of the washer. Use a short flat blade screwdriver to remove the two screws that retain the plastic motor cover. Then remove the cover. Using a quarter inch nut driver, remove the two screws that retain the ground wires. Press in the two tabs on the side of the wiring harness clip. Then, remove the motor wiring harness. Use a ratchet with an extension and 3 8 inch socket to loosen and remove the two bolts that retain the motor to the washer chassis. Afterwards, you can remove the motor assembly from the washer. Use a pair of pliers to remove the motor tension spring. Pull the spring in from the base of the motor. Then, remove the spring assembly from the base plate. Using the 3 8 inch socket, remove the two nuts that hold the motor to the motor base plate. Afterwards, remove the different parts, making sure to note their order. In our case, first was a flat washer, rubber mount, and nylon slide. Then, remove the base plate from the motor. With the base plate out of the way, remove from the motor the remaining parts of the slide assembly. Afterwards, remove the glide pad assembly from the old motor housing. Here's the old washer motor next to the new one. If you already have the new part, great. If not, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Install the inner portion of the slide assembly on the mounting studs. Separate the two parts of the glide pad assembly. Install the rubber insert into the new motor. Then push in the plastic glide. Reinstall the motor base plate. Position the outer parts of the rubber mount assemblies on the two motor studs, making sure that the ridge on the nylon slide fits into the base plate. Thread on and tighten the two nuts that retain the mounts.
Reinstall the motor spring by fitting one end into the base plate and then position the other end so it fits into the motor. Set the new motor into the washer cabinet. Reinstall the motor wiring harness. Position the new motor into the opening in the washer cabinet. Then thread in and tighten the two retaining bolts. Use a quarter inch nut driver to thread in and tighten the screws that retain the two ground wires. Reinstall the motor cover. Then thread in and tighten the two screws. With the new motor in place, you can now reinstall the front panel. Put the panel back in place, making sure that on the bottom, the two tabs align and then tilt it forward. Thread in and tighten the two screws that retain the front panel. Carefully lower down the top and then push on the front edge so it engages the two retaining clips. Tilt back the washer. Position the belt on the motor pulley and then on the pump pulley. Put the belt on the edge of the transmission pulley then rotate the pulley clockwise which will pull the drive belt into position. Once the drive belt is on carefully lower down the washing machine. Afterwards, reconnect the power cord and then your appliance should be ready for use. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com and be sure to check out our other repair videos on our website, on our Facebook page, and on our YouTube channel.